Hello everyone. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video of a uh, bit of gameplay on the uh, the hunters. Uh, just give you a rough idea. I'm going to try and do three patrols. They're not very long. Uh, that's what I, I like about this game. It's fast and fast paced. So uh, yeah. Uh, but first, I'm going to go through a bit of history of where I'm up to. Um, as I said on the last video, I am in uh, the Type 1XA, uh, available in 1939. Um, took a bit of damage on my last patrol, but got back to port. Um, but I had to do an extra refit. Uh, so... An extra month refit because of uh, the the, uh, the extra damage, um, but I'm going to go through a bit of history first. Um, what's happened? That I've sh I've destroyed. Uh, I've sunk twelve ships altogether. Uh, um, twelve ships and three capital ships, which is a grand total of fifteen. Uh, I've sunk seven uh, small freighters, uh, four large freighters, and three capital ships. Um, my ranking uh, on my Commodon is a. Uh, show you this now, if I can. Is a, a KK PT3 three stripes. So uh, that's my rankings. Uh, my medals up to now. I've just been awarded um, the, uh, the Knight's Cross. The Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves and Swords, which is really good. I think it's the best I've done up to now in this game. Um, but to get awarded, to get these awards, you must uh, do a number of things. Is kill a certain amount of tonnage, um, or destroy capital ships. And this, that's the reason why I've got these awards, is uh, because of the capital, sh the capital ships I destroyed. So I'm going to go through a bit of history first uh, on the capital ships. Um, the first capital ship that I destroyed was in September 39, which was the BB Nelson with a grand tonnage of 34,000. I uh, ended up sinking that in the British Isles. Uh, and, got, and that was my first patrol actually. In September '39, I um, ended up getting awarded the night uh, the night cross uh, for that achievement. Uh, the second uh, capital ship I ended up meeting in October '40, 1940. It was the BB Bahrain. A uh, grand tonnage of thirty-one thousand one hundred, so slightly smaller than the Nelson. I ended up the sinking that in the Atlantic uh, and got awarded um, Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves. Uh, and then the final capital ship um, is uh, February 41, uh, 1941, which was my last patrol. Um, I ended up meeting, uh, sinking the BB Royal R Oak which is the smaller capital ship than the rest of sunk, which is 29,100. And I also sank that in the Atlantic. Uh, and I got awarded the Knight's Cross with Oak Leaves and Swords, which is good, and that's what I'm up to at the moment. So yeah, that's uh, where I'm up to with the awards. Um, and what the awards do to you is, <coughs> You can it gives you the chance to upgrade um, a U boat. <coughs> As you can see here on the, the sheet, I'm in 19, uh, May 41. So I have decided you can only go for the same type of a uh, U boat, by the way, as well. That's a, one of the rules in the rule book. So I've decided to try and upgrade from uh, the 1939 uh, Type uh, IXA uh, to the Type X. IXC, which is available in May 1941, and as you can see there on the sheet, it is May 1941. So we're going to attempt to go for that. Uh, 
attempting to go for uh, an upgrade on chips uh, is it is goes on a number of things it can go on um tonnage or i think it's tonnage or awards obviously i'm going for my upgrade on my awards now i've as i said i ran three awards the knight's cross the knight's cross with oak leaves and knight's cross with oak leaves and swords so i have three attempts to upgrade on this but it can only be done once every patrol so i have got three chances so i'm going to write that down on my uh, uh, the, on here I'll put on an upgrade I've got three chances to upgrade uh, my U-boat so I'm going to try and attempt uh, now to get this upgrade for this one and what you need to do is, is roll a 1 to 3 on a dice on a 6 sided dice and so I'm going to attempt that now before we do anything else uh, ok uh, now, as I said, you can only attempt this um, when you return back to port after the patrol. So, on me, this is my first out of uh, three upgrade chances. Hopefully, I get it. Um, so, I need a one to three on the dice roll. And I got it. And there you go. I get the upgrade. So, now we are on this upgrade here on the ship. Uh, I'm going to go through it. Um, this is my old ship, this one here, and this is my new my new boat, um, which I'm happy to have now. Uh, there's not any difference on, I noticed there was no difference on this. The patrols are different on the new one, but I do stay away from the Mediterranean, which I'm happy about, because in the Mediterranean, once you patrol the Mediterranean, you're stuck there. You cannot go anywhere else, you've got to stay there, and I don't want to do that because the Mediterranean in World War II was quite horrendous for U boats. Uh, so that's why I picked this one, this type, is to stay away from the Med. <coughs> As for the upgrades on, on, on the new ship to the old ship, there is no difference. Um, same loadout, 22. I did notice I was thinking what's the difference on this on this new ship and I ended up sussing out it is the actual structure of the ship um, as you can see on the old ship I get one two three four five six seven eight on my hull damage and on the new ship I get one two three four five six seven eight nine so I get extra one so the structure on the ship is a lot better on the new one so that's why I decided I'm doing the upgrade. So that is all done. Now let's get on to the next stage, which is basically where am I going in this ship? Okay, so we know we've got a new ship. Uh, the rules do say I have to do an extra refit. Um, because of the new ship but with my ability of being ranked uh, with this rank in here I get to roll on a one to two I can cancel uh, one refit if it's more than two refits I get a, a chance to cancel the refit so I I've told them to get the refit done uh, earlier so I'm, I'm gonna try that now because of my ranking I'm allowed to get rid of one of the refits on here if it was two refits i couldn't go for it because it's three i can and here uh, one to two it does say in the rule book let's get the rule book out um here uh, on this rank you're available to a player who has been successfully promoted each year oh no i'm on this one same as the above, oh no, the, I'm on this one, sorry. <laughs> Same as the above, but roll of a 1 to 2 successfully also shortens the refits. Refits repairs by one month. Uh, you cannot do this if it's only 1 to 2, but they've asked me to do an extra refit, which will be 3, so I'm going to chance that. And what do I need? Is it a 1 to 2? Yeah, 1 to 2, I get to cancel one month refit. 
and the air I failed so the refit will go ahead so I put the refit I failed on that one so we're in June nine, uh, now we've missed three months I had to do an extra refit on that other ship uh, and obviously I have to do a refit on this new ship so June 41 we're going to see where we're going to be patrolling right now um, so we get the chart out so it's June so January to June 1941 we are going to roll 2d6 as it says here and see where we're going to be patrolling so let's see where our patrol is going to be and I roll a 8 and if you look at the charts on an 8 in 1941 January to June we are in June aren't we yeah on an 8 we are going back to the Atlantic where I last patrolled so what we do there is we write it down on the sheet uh, Atlantic just put that okay now that is done uh, my next thing I've got to do is fit out this ship and uh, get cracking with this patrol so I'm going to do that right now off camera so let me do this Welcome back, I've just done all the ship with the, re with the refitting, uh, let's go through it, there's my ranking and uh, my awards, this is my crew, um, my crew um, quality uh, is an elite with a minus one F against black and a plus one against damage and diving, so decent crew, I have built that crew up um grew out the, uh, the campaign starts at novice so yeah how's the crew done uh, my loadouts i've got i have done the mix what it says here i can mix up to four um i've took four electric off and put some more steam on because steam is better than electric in this time of, uh, this time of the war uh, didn't advance that much the electric uh, torpedoes so I've got 16 in my forward tubes at the moment. I've got them in there now. Uh, I've got four steam in my uh, forward torpedo tubes. In my old tubes, I've got two steam, and in my after reloads, I've got one electric. So, yeah, that is ready there if I have to use. Uh, my ship is ready on the Atlantic. Uh, this, uh, Trans, uh, Transit Bay of Disgay is ready now to do the patrol. So it is time to do our roll, our first roll of this patrol in the Atlantic in uh, June 41. Um, what you basically do is first, because I'm in Bay of Disgay, it is a good chance that it did uh, get um, an assault, uh, you might get assault by an airship. Um, so I have to roll on this shot because I'm in a uh, bay to stay first and on a roll of uh, two, three or four there is an, uh, an attack by an aircraft so let's roll for that first I roll uh, two D6 and hopefully I won't get that, I'll get higher and let's see and I rolled a seven so on a seven of this is all clear no aircraft attack on the bay on the bay of the coming out on the patrol so now we do our first movement on the patrol we go into transit and there uh, as you see there we move into the transit one now we've resolved the uh, transit bay of dc now are we going to uh, see any ships here and to do a successful mission you need to sink at least one ship a failure is no ship sunk or obviously you've been destroyed a failure as well uh, but to get a successful mission you need to sink at least one and <coughs> get some tonnage so let's go to um, where are we 
Atlantic. Here we go. As you can see on this Atlantic, there's a good chance I'm going to capital ship on a roll to two, a normal ship. A lot of blanks here on this Atlantic. Uh, a lot of con convoys as well. So there's a chance I could meet a convoy. Convoy. Convoys are always escorted. Uh, are always got an escort with them, and a capital ship as well. So that's not good. You've got to stay away from them uh, escorts. So let's roll on a 2d6 and see if we meet any on this first uh, transit box. Any encounters. And we roll the 7-8. Uh, and you see on the Atlantic one, we do not meet anything. It's a blank on the Atlantic. So no encounters there on that one. So what we do next is we move our boat to the next one. And now we're on the Atlantic one. Same again. We do a roll of a D6. This is how simple the game is. We roll two D6 and see if we get an encounter again on here. We roll it and we get this time we get a seven again. Is that a seven again? We roll the seven and we look at a thingy and we've met a convoy. Nice one. So let's um, set up and see what kind of uh, I will write this down and uh, let's get ready and see what uh, we bump into. We, as we just know, we just uh, bumped into a convoy on the second, uh, well, the first Atlantic box. We bumped into a convoy. Uh, now we've got to determine four times you roll on a convoy. You've got to determine the uh, size of uh, the ships that we're going to meet. They're always escorted the convoy, so... Right, and you only roll at 1d6. So let's see on the size. And the first ship will be a 1, which is a small. So what you do is you get a small... Uh, where are they? There you go, a small freighter token out and that'll be the first ship the second ship will be a four and that is a large freighter there we go there and we get a large freighter out and the third ship will be a two and that is another small small where are the small freighter there we'll get that one there <laughs> And the last ship will be a one, and that is another small freighter. Where are the small freighters? Come on. Here's one. Okay, so these are our ships that we're going to be meeting. There's three small phrases and a large phraser that we'll be meeting. Now, the esc it'll also be escorted. Um, so we're now we're going to see what type of escort. Um, a roll for the what kind of uh, escorts this. Uh, this convoy is, is got with them. It's the year is 1941. So green is a roll of one, two, elite, not a plate of all. So we can only go to the six. That's in 1941. Sweet. So we're going to roll on the D6. And there's a one, and it's a green, green uh, escort. Now, on the uh, we've just got out the uh, escort token there, which is a green one. Uh, There is, I'll show you that, that's a green escort, minus one on the H, we will find out what that means in a minute. Uh, but now we're going to test some, which kind of ships we are going to encounter and what size. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna, now we're going to roll for the size of the small ships first, because there is three of them. So we might as well do all the three small freighters and then the last one large. Um, there's an optional sheet for there, small places. I do use this, so I'm going to have the black as the optional and the white as the normal uh, roster. 
and the highest one is one going off. Right, the black one is the optional one, so we're going to go on the optional one. And the first um, small freighter is going to be, oh, you rolled two D6, uh, two tens. One's got to be um, a ten, which I'm going to declare as the white. So here we go. It, that's his 16, declaring the white as the 10. 16, I haven't met that one before, have I? Nope. So 16 on the chart is the Betty, which is 2300. And what we do here, we write down on the sheet. Uh, on this one here, we go T1. Oh no, we class it T6, optional. And we put down the number of the ship, which is T616. Um, the tonnage, which is 2300. And we write that down. <laughs> we write that down. 2300. So the second small ship, now we roll another D6, and what will it be? Optional or, and it's staying on optional. Cool. So the second small ship, we've done that one, will be 15. Have we met 15 before? No. What I'm checking is if we've met it before is basically because I don't want to you can't sink it again, you can't meet it again, so so let's write this down. T6 again on the optional it was 15, T15 and that that will be the Liam Fair, which is 5,000, so that's not bad, but a small ship, so you write that down on your encounter sheet, and that is the other small freighter, and now we'll do this last small freighter, is it the optional or the thingy, it is the optional, so it's still on this one here, roll 2d6, staying with the 10s, so that's 41, um, check this sheet again, I'll be met here. I don't want to write it down if we've sank it, you see. Uh, no, we haven't met this one, so we put C6 again there, 41. And we go down the chart, and it is Jenny uh, M, 2500 tonnage. 2500 tonnage. And then we will do the large racer. Right, and this has also got an optional. On the large racer, and there's the other one here, the large racers. So we're going to roll to see if it's the optional on the large racer, and it is. So it's optional on the large racers. Will be a T7, T7 sheet. Um, now we roll the two tens, sticking with the hundred. I mean the tens is the white, exactly same, and that is a uh, sixty-one. Uh, on the large freezer, we're at 61. No, so on this one we go T7 as we've done there, and 61 is what's that called? Cocker Pan set, which is 6061 ship. Write that down, and we write the tonnage below it. 61 is 6,000. Right, and there is an, a convoy. I'll put convoy there just so we met a convoy. Right, <coughs> so now I'm going to sort out on the combat board all these ships that we bumped into on this convoy and put them on the combat with their actual. Um, you go here, uh, you go on this combat sheet now, and uh, we do the tonnage. So let's get this set up. Okay, the board is set up, all the uh, freighters have been put on the combat board. 
um, and the Escort has gone on the Escort uh, box, green Escort. Uh, small freighters, I've only got two damage, um, small ones, so they're easier to sink. And the large, this large freighter, which was 6,000, is below. Oh, sorry, that's a small freighter. Is that small freighter? We've all got to, this large freighter here on this convoy was below 10,000. So it goes on that. So you can either have three, three hit eight damage or four damage depending on the weight of the tonnage. But this was only 6,000. If it was above 10,000, it'd go in that one and it'd be four damage. But it, it takes three damage. Okay. So now we're going to roll for day or night. Is it a day or night here? Patrol on this box. Uh, on a roll of, on a roll of uh, one to three. Day or night. So you do with a one d six. And it's two. It is a daytime attack. Um, is the, can I change it to night time? I don't want it really. I'm going to keep it there as daytime attack. Uh, the range we're going to come in at this because there's a combo uh, an escort. So I'll put the daytime token on there. The daytime attack. We're going to be attacking uh, this. Convoy at um, medium range. So I'll put that token on the medium range. Right, determine the size of the ships. Uh, yeah, if a capital ship, blah blah blah. Determine external targets, blah blah blah. If day, if day, optional 1d6 roll to switch it to night. Non capital ships, uh, non capital ships only. Success, uh, night. Otherwise, encounter ends. Ooh! So, if I. One to four, I can switch it to night time. Otherwise, I'll lose the encounter. Do I want to change it from day to night? Uh, night time would be better. No, I'm not going to. Uh, select range, yeah, we've done that. Submerged attack or service attack. We are going to go submerged or night service attack. No, we are not going to save us because it's daytime, the old spot is easier. Right, so assign torpedoes to the target ships. So we are submerged in the daytime. Uh, now I'm going to declare, I definitely want this large freighter because obviously it's more tonnage. So we're going to go, um, there'd be no deck on attack on this daytime, <laughs> not with an escort. So we're going to declare, how many torpedoes, it's got three damage. Um, one, two, three. We're going to declare three torpedoes onto this uh, large freighter and try and definitely um, sink it if possible. So I'm then going to declare three torpedoes out of that out of one. And we're going to declare one, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it does matter on the second one there, which is the highest one. Add the tonnage, which is 5,000. Uh, it's only got two damage. Hopefully, it'll do the two damage to get the tonnage. So, we're going to declare on the second air uh, small freighter with one torpedo there. We're not going to use any of the alts because you do get a uh, negative using them. Um, <coughs> so, now we're going to do our attack. We're going to determine the hits. So we're going to get our sheets and get cracking with this assault. Okay, first of all, we're going to we're going to try and because it's going. I'm going to go left to right, so I'm going to do the small freighter first with this torpedo. Um, we're going to see if it's a hit. We're at a medium range. Uh, we need. Seven or less to hit. We have got modifiers here. Uh, night surface, no. Green crew, no. Not wounded. Mm, is it not electric? You do get a plus one on that one, that's bad. 
no and I'm not wounded so no modifiers there I need on a medium range I need a seven or less uh, seven or less on a two d6 please let's see this first, first torpedo hits on a seven or less yes get in so it's hit it hasn't done the damage yet but it's hit so we'll put that and uh, there is a hit so we know that one's hit and now we're going to go to the we're going to declare in a minute that if it's done the damage we're going to do these first now and see if these hit now it's still the same again it's not it's not way of going through this again i know it's seven or less so we're going to do the three rolls for these torpedoes five seven so that is nice that first one's gone in that is nice that first one's hit uh, second one seven or less on the second one ooh nasty seven eight nine that is a mess so that one goes actually off the board because it's missed and used up and the last one is a four and that's a hit so out of the four torpedoes i have got three hits now we see check and see if they are duds before we do the damage now you gotta see there's a lot of duddage going on in world war ii with these torpedoes 1941 it's a steam torpedo so on a roll of one with a 1d6 it is a dud so it's a good chance it's not going to be a dud so let's do the let's do the small one first for the small freighter see that's a dud no, it went in, so we're gonna, that's all right. Now the two, first one for the large freighter. Is it a dud? <laughs> what the fuck is that? So what we do is there, because it's a dud, you take it off, so you know it hasn't hit. Now the second one, is that going to be a dud? Oh! How unlucky is that? So they were all duds on the large. Not good. Um so let's determine the damage on this small freighter one. Oh, so the big ship, it looks like it's uh, failed. So you go on the attack damage chart and a torpedo. Yeah, have you got any modified? No, it's not a deck gun. Um, so we roll a 1d6 and see if they determine what damage it does. Um, I need two damage, so it'd be nice to get a three. Roll a three, a four or more only does one damage, so that wouldn't sink it. Two on a one with four damage would totally destroy it. So let's see if we can get this small ship out of all of them. And what do we roll? A two. And we got on a roll of two, as you can see there, we get three damage. So that is totally sunk. It only needed two damage, so that one torpedo was effective. It got through and sunk the small freighter. And what we do then is we tidy up our sheets and with this board, she board, the 5,000 small, uh, small freighter I circle to know on this patrol. I have sunk it. Okay. So we sunk that one. And I'll write it down on on this as well. T so we can keep record of all my sinkage. T6 uh, 15. There you go. That over there. Right, okay. Now we know that small one was sank. Now we've got to determine if the escort has seen us. And uh, is he going to go attack us with this escort? So let's go on the chart, on the escort detection chart. There is modifiers, 1941. We get a plus one, which is good. Uh, no damage here, pure damage. Oh, la, 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 la. oh, we are 7A. Yeah, we did use 7A torpedoes in the day, so that's another plus. That's plus two up to now. 
the year and the torpedoes used. Uh, previous detected, no, this is our first. Close range, no. Night save sack, no. Firing AR forward, also first round, no. We didn't use them. Bull pack attack on convoy, no. Large, large range, no. Exceeding test that. Now, do I want to exceed that, that to give me a chance? I will say yes on this ship. So, what you do is you move the hull to there, and that declares I am taking exceedance there. It's a risk because you can take more damage. This is a heavy uh, new big ship, and I reckon I can handle it. So, you move your damage to your hull to that, but it gives you a minus. So, that puts us on. To minus so what were we on we were on plus two now we're on plus one because we sucked the exceeding uh, test depth uh, commandant is a uh, uh, knight cross oakleys and swords i am that's great so that puts us on ooh, minus one again so that makes it all level now we were on uh, plus one now we're on my number on even now if you look remember my uh, my elite has got a plus one d on this thingy so we're going to check that before we do this to see what that actually means all right d detection he's got a d on his uh, thingy there modify for escort detection e2 or dive modify to avoid aircraft okay so detection so it's a plus one so that gives us a plus one so eight or less. Now we need so it's a plus one on die roll or that on detection. So that'll help us out on the uh, thingy. Um has the green escort trained. He's not trained. He is it's a minus minus one H. Now what does that mean? Hmm. Hit, extra hit scored when resolving an escort or aircraft. Oh, so he gets an extra hit. Is that correct? Oh, minus one. Because he's a green escort, if he does hit us, he gets one hit deducted, which is good. Oh, we're going to fill these, uh, let's, just fill, let's just fill these tubes up anyway, because we would do that. I'm going to put more extra steam, torpedoes. In there, and there we go. Right, is he gonna detect us? Let's get this escort out of the way. So we've got a uh, plus one to die roll. After all them modifiers, we ended up with a plus one, and we roll two d six, eight or less, undetected, twelve or more on a DRM. Ooh. Well, one more. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ten. So what was it? Eight or less undetected. Nine or ten detected. So we take. Uh, we take. So that's an more. What's that? That's an eleven. An eleven roll. We take one off. Oh, it's a plus one on the die roll. I do not get that. What is that DD? Plus one. Yeah, plus one. So that would, uh, that would make it nine. That would make it nine. And we've been detected. Okay. So we have been detected. Uh, he gets minus one hit. So. 
How many hits does he do? Hmm. So he's going to come out as this escort and he's going to drop, as you know, um, death charges at us. How many is he going to throw at us? How many hits? He gets a minus one hit on his head counter as well. So, because he's only green. So, escort and charge, roll 2d6, inflict, in, right? So, we roll 2d6. And we roll it on. I see the modifiers. No, 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 no. No modifiers, so they're just straight. It's just a straight air. Uh, Roll once if your U boat was detected. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the first detection. Okay, so how many hits on 2d6? Oh, that's bad, six. So on this, six is one hit. Nice one. And because we deduct, because he's a green, he did drop a canister, but it blew up, discharged early, so he gets no hits. On this first, uh, um, detection. So what we do again is this escort carries on going round searching for us, and we have to do and see if he detects us again. And obviously we do. We do. We know the modifiers um, with the previously detected. Yeah, we get a plus one to that though now because this is a previous detected. Um, so nineteen forty one plus one do when I see death again. Um no, because he's only getting an escort, I'll leave it. So exceeding death uh test death. Um, no, I'm not going to do it. So let's have a look at the modifiers. 94 to 1, plus 1, no, no, mm, fuel, no damage, dead, dive plane down, no, capital shape, no, um, torpedoes, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, previously detected, plus 3, no, isn't previously detected, yes, plus 3, close range, no, no, quite attack, no, Forward now, plus two for now, long range, exceeding set depth, I will do it again, so it's a minus two, minus two, instead of three, and um, minus two, minus one, so it's a plus one, because I believe, right, plus one, let's get this well done. Uh, eight or less undetected plus one. Oh, he gets plus one on the detection as well. So on the dice roll plus. Let's go. So that's seven or less with a plus one. That's eight. And we cap nine undetected. Nice one. We got away from the VA escort. Love it. So we got away, we did sink it. Right, let's carry on here then. So the escort has actually didn't detect us. Yeah, undetected boat, sequence of action. Detected you boat is, is death charged. And then we go back to this. <coughs> now, <coughs> <coughs> do we want to follow? Um, this again and I'd say no I you do have a chance to follow he is a green escort but I think you'd have to roll and see if it goes upgraded on the escort so I'm not gonna risk it we did sink it's a uh, 5,000 ton ship so I'm going to leave it at that we are not gonna follow in the daytime well we we'd roll for to see if we follow it. But no I'm gonna leave it like that for now uh, we'll take them off, these counters off here. And we sunk a 5,000 uh, small ship 
on the first box. Um, I'm going to take a quick drink break. We're going to go nice coffee. And then we're going to move our ship to the next transit button with the next Atlantic box. As you can see there, we took two hull damage because we uh, exceeded that. So not good. So what does that do to us? It adds another month onto the refit. But I, I because of my uh, ability, I can. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's worry about getting this mission done. So we moved onto the next transit, onto the next Atlantic box. Um, let's see if we detect anything. Let's get the chart out. We're in Atlantic. Now you do not have to. Uh, if you feel like your ship's taking too much damage, you do not have to carry on. You can just go straight to transit box. Obviously, you, somebody you need to go deeper and go back home. If you, if you feel like you can't attempt to attack anything, but we're gonna roll up and see what if we meet anything decent here. Uh, 2d6, and that is uh, 11, and that is nothing anyway. So you move up again. So we met nothing on that one. move the ship up are we going to miss anything on this box we roll a seven and we've met a convoy so i'm going to do the same procedure or we're in part two of this video i'm going to do the same procedure or where so this is the end of part one of this because it'll go on for too long so I'm going to write down on my thingy uh, and we're going to end this now. So on this patrol. So catch you guys in a bit.